the number one contraindication to cold plunge therapy, it's not heart arrhythmia, it's hypertension. The heart arrhythmia hypothesis it was popularized by Professor Mike Tipton in the United Kingdom, who knows a lot about cold water swimming. His specialty is preventing drowning, but he's documented case studies of how cold plunge therapy has helped people resolve major depression that didn't respond to SSRIs or other medications or talk therapy. And so he knows about the benefits of the cold water, but his concern is that there are two reflexes, autonomic reflexes that might become in conflict. And so he coined this phrase, autonomic conflict, which was uh, picked up by Wikipedia and it's been broadcast on social media. The idea is that the gasp reflex, when you first get into the cold, <gasps> it activates your parasympathetic nervous system. Your heart rate can respond by going up, you can get a a release of glycogen from the liver that spikes your blood glucose because you are in fight or flight. Your body is prepared for action. But as soon as you go a little bit deeper, your parasympathetic nervous system takes over. That's the dive reflex. Every mammal responds to the dive reflex. It prepares our bodies to conserve oxygen to go down into the waters where we might have to gather shellfish or forage or ford across the stream, I don't know. We have these two reflexes and they could be hypothetically in conflict. The heart rate goes down during the dive reflex. It's the opposite of the fight or flight. And so Tipton's idea is if these two are in conflict, it might cause an irregular heartbeat that could be dangerous when you're in the water and lead to drowning. But that's not the number one contraindication. The number one contraindication is the vasoconstriction that leads to high blood pressure, the hypertension. When you're in the cold water and vasoconstriction moves all of your blood into your core, and you know I'm exaggerating, not all of your blood, it slows down the circulation in your extremities to conserve the heat, keep your core body temperature warm. It's natural that your blood pressure will go up. If you suffer from chronic hypertension and you get into the cold plunge and raise your blood pressure, you could experience what is called an acute hypertensive event. It can be dangerous. I have two reports of people who have experienced this under medical supervision, they recovered entirely, they're fine. But what they didn't know is that hypertension is a contraindication to cold plunge. You better believe they know now. <laughs>